what's poppin' my dudes? This is the Clamp King here, and today I got you guys a crazy glitch. Basically, you can play my career on rookie difficulty, and this is huge because you do not miss on rookie difficulty. It's actually crazy. As you can see here at the beginning, this little mixtape type thing. Um, if you want to see more of that, leave a like and let me know. I can make a mixtape, but I haven't been because my last one didn't get very many views on 2K17. So. Anyways, guys, everybody's made this video way longer than it had to be on YouTube. Stay until the end if you want to see how to get through the proving ground faster. But basically, if you want to do this, you can have the 20-minute quarter glitch combined with that. Glitch is on my channel. But if you want to do this, all you have to do is just make a new player, and when you load into my career, it will already be on Rookie. That's all you do. You just make a new player, and that player is on Rookie. So, yeah, that's that's that. So, I'm, I'm just showing you here. I'm starting a new player, and I'm going to show you how to get to the proving ground fast. But let me go ahead and sell real quick. You cannot do this on an existing player. And if you do this glitch, do not play a park game. As soon as you play a park game, your difficulty will change to an online park, and you will not have the rookie glitch anymore so you have to play career while you can before you aren't on online part difficulty because as soon as you play an online game it's done now i know what you guys are all about to say and by the way i do not like the Cavs. i just picked a random team but i know what you guys are about to say here's me making my player and i'm just going to show you guys the proving ground how to get through it quick but you guys are all going to say oh this glitch is useless because you have to make a new player if anybody out there is planning on ever making a new player make them now you can make them, you can have the rookie glitch. Anytime your friends aren't on, you can be playing career with them, getting badges, getting his rep up. Even if he's not a high overall, if you're on rookie, you will hit threes as a 60 overall. I don't care. I don't care how bad your rating is, you will hit them. You'll be able to do anything. Now, before you go, here's how to get to the proving ground quick. Basically, before you go in, make sure you pick a good jump shot because whatever jump shot you pick, you get it for free. So I don't care if you want to be a custom one later or whatever, pick a good jump shot here. I'm going to show you three little examples that are really good. The first one is Kevin Durant, the second one is Jerry West, and the third one is James Harden. This is just the three that I use in this clip. Also trial Carmelo, trial Alonzo, trial John Wall, Chris Paul. Basically try out them all. I mean, it's really easy to shoot in this shoot around, so it's not going to really show a good example but the more greens you get uh, James Harden is really good but yeah just pick a jump shot because you get it for free all right I'm not gonna say anything else about that I've been talking about too much anyway now when you get to your first game immediately quit out of the game now unfortunately you cannot skip cutscenes so basically all you gotta do is watch cutscenes and that's it because once you get to this game you quit and then you load right back in and then it'll put you after the game, it'll basically just put you back into your proving ground and the game will be over and the next cutscene is started. So the proving ground normally takes about, or the prelude thing, whatever you want to call it, getting to my career. It takes about an hour to complete, right? If you do this method where you just quit out of every game and then you do what I'm going to show you when you get to the team scrimmage, and you do this method, you can get through it in 30 minutes. That's only half the time, so it helps a lot. So, yeah. I'm loading in, I'm going to skip to loading in to show you guys. Alright, so we're now loaded in, and as you can see, the game is now over, and I'm getting the cutscene you get after the first game, the agent's coming over there to give us the cards, all that. So basically, do this for the three games in the Proving Ground. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the team scrimmage, alright? So you're going to go out here on the floor for the team scrimmage, and basically, you know how it works. You play the bench players first, and then you play the starters. So what you're going to want to do for this game against the bench players is just not even play. You guys are going to get an F teammate grade or whatever. So go do something for six minutes. Go watch TV. Go watch my other videos. Do whatever. Now, if you want to see how to do the 20-minute glitch, go watch that on my channel. Basically, you guys are going to do so bad that they're not going to give you a second scrimmage. So then you skip that scrimmage altogether. And then you just got to wait on the rest of the cutscenes, and you're good. And then I finally got loaded into my My Career. And I'm going to show you guys that it starts out on Rookie. Right here, settings. Rookie, five-minute course. Now, all you gotta do is put it on 20 minute quarters and go grind. That's all you gotta do. So let me know if you got this far, guys. Leave a comment below, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And as you can see here, Kyrie has the world record for assists in a pro M game. I think it's the world record, but I'm gonna go for the world record in points too. It's like 120, I'm gonna break that. If you guys wanna see that video, leave a like. Besides that, guys, I'm out. Peace. I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, and born like this, immaculate.
conception, not transform like this, perform like this.